Hi there, before you watch my next video, I'd like to share with you some work that one of my mini bee crafters has been doing this week. This is Elizabeth from Essex, and she has been making lots of my things this week. She's made a butterfly that looked like this. She's made a catapult that looks like this. And she's also made a monster box that looks like this. How amazing! Well done, Elizabeth. And here are all her crafts she's made in one lovely photo. If you would like for me to feature your pictures, don't forget to send them in to Mrs B's arts and crafts at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Take care. Hi, welcome to Mrs B's arts and crafts. Okay, today we're going to make a fortune teller. And I used to make these when I was younger and you can use them for all sorts of things. And I'll give you some ideas at the end. So let's get on with it. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a piece of A4 paper. And you need to fold it. So that you make a triangle okay like that so I've got one here that I've done already and then you need to take your scissors and cut along the edge because you're going to make a square you don't need this bit anymore just cut that a bit better I'm also going to use coloured paper but it's probably easier for you if I use white so you can see what I'm doing and then you've got a triangle there. Open it up again and go corner to corner this way and make another triangle. They need to fold it into a rectangle. And push down on the line. Open it up, turn it around and make it into another rectangle. So, okay, now when you see, when you open it up, you've got all these different sections, okay, of all different triangles. Now you need to start in one corner and go into the middle. Keep turning it round, do the same with the next one. Pressing down on these creases to make sure it folds properly and then do the next one. And press down again. It makes a little envelope shape. Can you see that? And then do the last one. Okay. Now all those ones are finished. Okay, you need to turn it over. So you've got a square again. And you can do the same again. You're going to take these corners into the middle all the way around. down you've got to press a bit harder now because the paper's getting thicker because we're doing more layers okay and then you need to fold it in half and then fold it in half again the other way okay and that is pretty much all you need to do for now just for this bit then what you need to do is take um, some coloured, I've put some white stickers and I've used felt tips to colour in some colours. You might want to use felt tips straight onto here, but I thought if I use a sticker to show you. So each square has a different colour on. And if you need to know how to spell the colours, you can always ask a grown up to help you with that. So I'm going to write on here. Orange, and I'm going to write pink, and I'm going to write red, and then I'm going to write blue for my last colour. Show you how these work at the end if you're not sure. Okay. So that's your colour side done. Then you need to do this side. This side is going to have your numbers on. So put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then you can fold this in half again. I'll just show you how it is going to work. You put, you put your fingers behind the colours and that helps 
your fortune teller get into shape and just do this side as well okay right so so all my fingers are in my colors now that's it okay and then what you do is you get somebody to pick a color so if you was playing with a friend they could say pink and you would spell pink so you go p i n k then your friends need to pick a number inside so if i said four so you go one two three four so you're going to pick another color another number sorry so three one two three and then one more number six now when they've picked the next number you open up number six and you read what it says on number six okay now for this you can write all sorts of things so you could say you will be rich i love you and keep going around all of these until you've written something on there you can use it for jokes you can use it to tell jokes with your friends you can use it to do times tables so on here you might have three times six and then you ask them what it is and underneath it gives you the answer and you can see if they're right you can use it for us spellings so you could have spell me a word beginning with b and then they have to try and guess what it is you can do all sorts of things so it's a really really good thing to play with but that is how you make a fortune teller and I hope you've enjoyed it. So join me again, Mrs. B's Arts and Crafts, for something else. I'd like to send me your ideas and of what you've done with these. So take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.